Do you want to know what all the latest hot trends right now are? Did that get your attention? Did you start thinking, oh, if I just get the right trends, if I know exactly what's hot right now, I'll be able to grow my business, it will make my brand take off, I'll go viral, it'll be amazing. Well, perhaps you've been thinking the wrong way. Knowing what the latest and greatest trends are is not the thing that's going to suddenly unlock a huge growth for your brand. If you want a brand that grows sustainably, long term, and you're building a strong brand identity, then just chasing trends, chasing what's in right now, trying to catch on to the most popular stuff isn't going to give you that sustained long term growth. You might catch on to something that sends you viral for a few days and gets you some more followers, but this isn't going to create long term success. In fact, I've been hearing a lot of people saying that people are starting to lose interest in people that are just using trends all the time because they're not giving them any unique value. They're not anything about them that's different and interesting and makes them want to follow. Sure, they might come across your stuff and give you some views because they're finding you through that, but there's no reason to follow you because what are you bringing to the table? What are you doing differently? What about your brand is unique and different and it's going to really draw people in? And that's why it's important to not be focusing on the trends. Sure, you can throw them in here and there, use them now and then, but they shouldn't be your focus. Your focus should be on building a strong brand identity. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about showing up with a consistent brand style and voice and how building your brand through that consistency is going to give you that long-term growth and going to bring in people that really love what you're doing and are those huge fans and it's not just going to give you this sudden viral moment where lots of people are seeing your stuff but you're going to actually see a long-term stable growth. Now I don't know about you but I get pretty tired of seeing the same old trends especially when it comes to video marketing when you start flicking through and you keep seeing the same songs the same things everyone doing the exact same stuff it actually starts to feel a little bit sickening when you just keep seeing the same stuff. I feel the same sometimes when I'm on Pinterest and every single graphic has that same look to it. When everything has that sameness, then you just get tired of it, you get sick of it. It's just all too much of the same old thing. And then when you come across someone doing something really different, that really stands out, it doesn't have to be massively different, massively standing out, but they're doing something unique. They have their own brand style and voice. They're showing up in their own way. They're producing content that's unique to them and not just doing what everyone else is doing that catches my attention that makes me want to go check them out and follow them because I'm like well what they're doing is really interesting and different and they're not just following along and doing exactly the same as everybody else but they've got something unique to bring to the table and they're obviously clear about their brand and they're obviously more of an expert in what they're doing because they're bringing their own unique content in. They're not just copying and trying to fit in and do what everyone else is doing, but they're willing to show up and say what they think, do it in their way and in their style, and that is going to make them really stand out long term. And it's going to make them so much more memorable because you'll remember the person that always does that particular thing or has that particular look and style. But if someone's doing the same thing as everyone else, well, how is that memorable? How is that recognizable? Of course, there's nothing wrong with using trends here and there, but it's a matter of using it in the right way. We're using it just in small amounts, but bringing your own unique perspective to it, or you're using it just now and then, but also putting a lot of your own unique stuff in as well. So use it in a way that's, you know, sparing and careful and thoughtful and not just constantly copying everything that everyone else is doing. You really need to bring your own unique creativity, your brand voice and style and your own content if you want to have that long-term growth and be memorable and recognizable. I was recently reading a book called The Brand Mapping Strategy and there was something in it that she mentioned that I thought was really relevant to this. So she was talking about how it's important for brands to be consistent in showing up and share their expertise and build their brand rather than doing big pushes. So she was talking about how uh, in the past people would think just chase after these big pushes like I want to get on Oprah or you know I want to get on this big media outlet and have this big push and then my brand will just take off and that was what people were chasing. What she was trying to explain is that what's more important is these slow and steady consistent steps to growth because those big pushes like getting this you know viral post or viral video whatever it will give you that you know that bit of a push but it won't last long term. So if you want to really be building your brand for the long term and creating that you know, strong recognizable brand identity, then you need to be working on those small consistent things. And so she mentioned showing up consistently, bringing consistent value and keep building your brand. 
Otherwise, it's just not going to last. If you're just trying to chase that high and get that one really sensational moment, that's not building you up for the long term. And why are people going to stick around if you're only going to be chasing those things all the time? You're just looking for new people all the time, but you're not building a relationship with the people that already follow you and you're not bringing them value. You just keep chasing and chasing all the time. And so it's important that even if you are trying to build up your audience and keep making things that you think will help build your audience, that you're also putting stuff out out there that's going to help foster the people that are already following you, that you're going to be putting out value and you're staying consistent and you're consistently bringing them some sort of thing that's going to keep them coming back so they're not like, well I'm here now and now what have you got to give me? And then if there's nothing more that you're offering them, well they're going to lose interest and they're not going to be interested in your brand anymore. If you want that brand loyalty, then you need to be also taking care of the people that are currently following you. Now, of course, it's one thing to say, oh, you really need to have those little small, steady, consistent efforts if you want to grow your brand. But what does that actually mean? How does that play out? How do you actually have that consistency? Well, here's a few things you can be doing. First of all, your brand identity needs to be consistent. So if you're constantly chopping and changing how your brand looks, that's going to confuse people and lose people. If you're chasing the latest trends in design, the latest colors and logo looks or whatever's in right now then you're going to lose people because you're not being consistent in that and they like well where's that gone and go to buy something you often will remember the packaging and if they've suddenly changed up their packaging design you be, oh where is it I can't find it and if they were doing that every few months you're going to be really confused and lost and you'll probably end up giving up on the brand because it's like I can never find it because they're constantly changing how it looks. Sure if it happens every you know 10 years or something then you know you'll be okay with that and you'll adapt to the change but when it's constantly happening that's when you lose people so it's really important with your branding to stay consistent. There might be times where you need to do a refresh maybe your brand has pivoted or you've realized that the way you've done something just isn't working you need to change it but make sure that you take the time to work on it really well and then stick with it for a long time. So don't be constantly chopping and changing and tracing trends to try and get the best looking brand that everyone will love right now because it's the, you know, the hottest style right now. Make sure that you think more deeply about your branding, get a really clear style and identity and stick with it long term. Your brand also needs a clear and consistent voice and message. So really think about what your brand believes in, what you talk about, what's important to you, what do you say, how do you say it, what's the tone, you know, what's the feeling and vibe to your speech and the things that you say, and then stay consistent with that. If your message is chopping and changing to try and just people please and try to fit in, or you know, you're just trying to adapt to make sure that people like you, whatever, then it's going to lose people because you haven't got that strong, consistent brand message and voice. It's really important to get clear on what your brand believes in, what your brand speaks up for, what it has to say, the way it says it, and stay consistent with that. And then you're going to draw in the right people that are drawn to that, and it's going to make you very memorable and recognizable as well. So we're not just looking at the visuals, but also the message and the tone as well. So following on from that, you need to know what your brand believes in and its values. So when it comes to values, you need to think about what is important to my brand and then how do I act on that in my branding? So for example, if you had the value of showing kindness, then you've got to make sure that everything you put out there shows kindness. The way you um, reply to people's comments, where you write captions, where you write emails, the style of your branding even, that it has this kind feel to it, that it doesn't feel like it's pushing people away. That you're really thinking how is that playing out in everything that I'm putting out there to make sure that I'm consistent with that and I'm staying true to that value. Now with some values it's going to be more obvious than others such as if you had a value for using sustainable materials well then obviously you're going to stick with using sustainable materials and it's going to be pretty obvious if you suddenly decided that's getting a bit expensive let's go for the not so sustainable option. So there's going to be some values that are very obvious and very easy for you to act on and make sure you stick to them. There's other values a bit like the kindness example where you're going to have to spend a bit more time thinking about how you actually show up with that value and how that actually looks and plays out so that you can stay consistent with it and it's not just something that you just write down oh yeah we have this value but you're actually acting on it and being consistent with it so people find you reliable and they can trust you because you've said that this is what you believe in and then you're actually showing up and acting on that 
and you're not just saying it to look good or sound good, but it really is happening in your brand. So when it comes back to trends, if a particular trend that you're really interested in trying to jump on does not align with your brand values or your message and voice, then you shouldn't be jumping on that. That's why it's really important to be clear on those things. So for example, if you're seeing a video reel or TikTok that's really taking off and you're like, this is going big, I really wanna jump on this, but the music doesn't quite align with your brand values or your brand tone, like the music is just completely not on brand for you, then you shouldn't be chasing that. It's really important that you're staying consistent in those things. It's okay to occasionally be jumping on trends, but as long as you're consistent in your brand style and voice and those values and you're not chopping and changing just to try and chase things. You also need to be consistent in how you show up. This doesn't mean you have to show up every single day. You have to be constantly putting out content, constantly showing up, but you've got to think how you can be consistent, what that looks like for you and stick to it. This means not just disappearing without saying a word for weeks or months on end and then suddenly Suddenly just showing back up again without any warning. If you do have to have a break for some reason, talking to your audience about why you're doing that, what's going on, so they understand. But in general, being consistent in how you're showing up. If it means that you every week are sending out an email, every week you're showing up with some new content, basically working out what's going to suit you and making sure that you're constantly showing up. Now I know this one's a struggle, it's one that I sometimes find quite hard to do but it is something that is important. And I've noticed that in the times that I am struggling with it and I'm not showing up so consistently, that it is hurting my business. So it's really important to find that consistency and find a way that you can be consistent so people find you reliable. And also it starts to help them sort of know when to look out for you too. If you always put something out on a particular day, if you've got some sort of weekly show of some sort, weekly podcast, weekly video, whatever it is, people will look forward to that. They'll be like, oh, I know that this comes out and they'll get excited. So building that consistency can then help put you into other people's routines. They look out for that stuff. And so the more you can get better and better at being consistent in showing up, the better it's going to be for your business as well. Finally, be creative. So be willing to try out different things and not just be putting out the kind of content that you know is safe, the kind of stuff that everyone else is putting out there. Think about what aligns with your brand's message and voice and your brand's tone and style and think about how you can bring something unique to the table. How can you be creative, putting out something that's a little bit different, maybe something that you know you just haven't seen anyone else doing, and bring your own uniqueness to the table because people are gonna get excited by that. And of course, it is a risk. Sometimes you'll put something out there, you'll be so excited about it, but it'll completely flop. No one else will like it because it is a risk to do something that doesn't feel safe because it's already proven to be successful. But if you keep at it, keep putting out something unique, you're going to really stand out by doing that. And in the long term, that has so much more potential for growth than just chasing those quick wins with chasing trends. Now, none of us are perfect with this. We all make mistakes. We all drop off in certain areas or we stuff up or we put something out there that we think, oh, that was just wrong. I shouldn't have done that. And you know, that's fine. We all make mistakes. We're not perfect. But we should have that goal. We should have that goal to try and show up in a consistent way, build that really strong, consistent brand identity and style. And the more we make that our goal, the stronger we're going to make our brand, the more memorable and recognizable we're going to be, and the better it's going to be for our long-term brand growth. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you want to learn more about branding, graphic design, and creativity, then be sure to subscribe to this channel and leave a comment and let me know which area do you struggle with the most when it comes to being consistent? and I'll see you next time.